This is my video log for Centipede Sprint 3. Um, I did not get the blaster uh, strategy pattern for the movement set up, but other than that, I was able to get the uh, centipede body segment following as well as the centipede smooth turn working. Um, what might not be uh, completely obvious from the video alone is that the centipede movement is actually not locked to the frame rate. I don't have it. I don't have centipede movement as some pre-calculated uh, number of steps per grid space. Um, it's actually completely time locked, which is good. I like it. it. It was fun to do. It wasn't super hard to do. I mean, as you can see, the centipede smooth turn is working. Uh, it works going up and down, left and right. Everything that it should be. Everything's good. Centipede is great. Awesome. On to the code. Um, centipede movement is pretty straightforward. I keep the movement in the queue. I don't have a member variable for the current movement because I actually just use the front of the queue as the current one. And then when I'm done with it, I pop it off and I use the current front of the queue. Super straightforward. Um, this is also a pretty standard implementation where every time I add something to the queue, I also pass that new thing down to all of the other centipedes in the list. So then everybody gets updated as the head adds new stuff to the centipede. Um, what's actually interesting here is if you take a look, my the queue that I'm using is a queue of this move function type. If we scroll up to the top of centipede.h, um, move function is actually a type def of a pointer to member function for a member of the centipede class that returns void and takes a single float as the parameter. Uh, the four variables that actually get pushed onto that queue as a result are these four here. Um, enter forward movement, move forward, enter turn, and turn around. Um, what I've done here is I've created a, an ultra lightweight uh, strategy pattern, a state machine pattern, where rather than, say, having a queue of enums and then having to do a switch or an if statement to check to do the correct movement based on the enum, I just execute whichever function is being pointed to by the head of the queue and then that function does the current action uh, so rather than doing it through uh, a virtual a virtual function and some object that I pass around I'm manually changing what what I'm pointing to um, if we I also have two here, if you take, if you notice. Um, I've got enter forward movement and move forward. These allow me to set up the current, set up the current state of the, uh, of the centipede right before it starts to do its movement. Um, for, for forward movement, all that entails is setting this, da, 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 this destination variable to being one step ahead, and that's just a, a requirement of making it not locked to the frame rate. I have to make sure that if I move too far at, at the end of the segment, I snap back so things don't start to get out of sync. Um, this is this becomes more important for the row for the uh, turn where um, an enter turn. If we take a look in centipede.cpp, um, we actually have to do some weird stuff with setting the origin and setting the position of the centipede depending on which way the centipede is moving. Um, this is because the way that I'm doing the smooth turn is by setting the origin in one of the corners of the centipede and then rotating around that corner. And that creates the visual effect I want while also creating the movement that seems to be what's going on in the game. But it is, it just created a little bit of complicatedness and necessitated that I'm able to at, do a one-time enter into the move actions and then perform the rest of the move action, which also lends it to being more like a kind of lightweight state machine. Um, I don't have enough time to go over all this in detail. It's pretty complicated, but I tried to document all the various aspects of it as much as I could. Um, thank you very much.